Hi folks, Elgin Bowling here, your creative caricature marketing consultant, and I gotta tell you, it's raining outside. I had plans to go somewhere, pick up lots of stuff uh, for my gig uh, in two days, and man, it's like, they're telling me it's gonna be a nor'easter or something here, and then there's nothing to do to just, there's nothing to do but just be inside. And so, what I was doing today, I was, uh, Looking over some videos, American Idol, big fan of American Idol, Britain's Got Talent, and uh, shows of that nature. And uh, um, I especially enjoy Simon, Simon Cowell, I, I especially enjoy him. And uh, a lot of people hate on Simon for his snide remarks, for his insults, and they say that he's being mean to a lot of the contestants, you know, who reach for stardom and don't quite make it, and Simon, <laughs> he tells them in no uncertain terms if they've got talent or not, and uh, I was just thinking, I said, you know, I think there's a reason why Simon does that. And how it's really, really, how he's really teaching a very important life lesson. And it's this. Uh, Simon, to me, represents the music industry and life in general. That's what he represents. Uh, um, if you look behind all of the glamour, all of the glitz, all of the bright lights and red carpets of the music industry, you know, from all accounts, you know, that come in, the music industry can be really, really brutal. Really brutal. They don't spare your feelings. And they just cut you apart. And unless you have the intestinal fortitude, the old word there, unless you have the guts, unless you have the inner drive to make it, you're not going to make it. You're just not. And um, many contestants who have uh, come on American Idol, Britain's Got Talent, and made it, you know, possess that intestinal fortitude. Make no mistake about it. Make no mistake about it. The people who succeed on these shows possess a certain quality that we all, even as artists, need to get if we're going to succeed. You know, I think about Paul Potts, Jonathan uh, Ant Antoinette, brilliant, brilliant, 17-year-old uh, operatic singer. I mean, at 17 years old, this guy is phenomenal. I mean, please, if you've never heard of Jonathan, A-N-T-O-I-N-E, please, Check him out, 17 years old. And yet, you know, he's lived a life where people have made fun of him because of his enormous size. Despite that, the guy has practiced, he's developed his gift, he's believed in himself, and now all the haters are looking at him and, and, and wishing, I guess, that they had it made fun of him. Phenomenal. Takes a certain amount of mental, mental strength to get to his level. And to practice and believe in himself. I think about Jamie Poo. His name is spelled P-U-G-H. Guy is, guy is like in his 40s, I think, or close to 50. And he's a pizza delivery guy. And he gets up and he has a tremendous stage fright. He gets up in front of Britain's Got Talent and wows the crowd. It's absolutely breathtaking what this guy does. And again, how many people behind the scenes have probably told this guy, you're a loser, you're 40 years old, you don't have an established career, you're delivering pizzas, oh, you're going to be a singer? Yeah, right. And again, John, Jamie Poo now can say poo-poo on all of the haters who are watching him, and he's on his way to a brilliant career. Um, final, you know, we have also Paul Potts, you know, who doesn't look the part of a singer, again, same thing. Brilliant, brilliant operatic voice. And finally, we have my personal favorite, uh, perhaps the one who kind of 
<laughs> started it all. Susan Boyle. Who could forget Susan's Boyle fantastic performance in Britain's Got Talent? You know, this this lady from Scotland with this, let's call it less than conventional look, wowed the audience and then became a literal overnight sensation, Cinderella story, and now is known world over. Her life has just completely changed. Listen, folks, I don't know, as an artist, where your life is going to take you. All I know is this. If you have any adversity in your life, you've got to overcome it. You've got to follow your dream. You've got to push past the haters. You've got to find that inner strength. You've got to fight off the Simons in this world and prove that you've got the goods to succeed at your chosen craft, whatever that may be. That's really just my rant for today. You know, check out these people, you know, on uh, YouTube, uh, Paul Potts, Jonathan uh, Antw Antony or Antoine, Susan Boyle, certainly, and Jamie Poo. You will be inspired. This is Elgin Subway Surfer Bowling, your creative caricature marketing consultant.